morning how's everybody doing today i'm doing well thank you for asking the body beat down here on this saturday morning man it's pretty today got a little breeze going it's nice and cool out not cold or anything just cool after about a week of clouds and rain and everything else this is nice Let's kick the rock. Not the wrestler slash actor. Well, I'm not going to kick him. He's big. I'll kick that rock. So. Trees. Pretty trees. I always like trees. Once again, I'm walking after I eat my big stupid breakfast. I'll never... I'll never remember to walk first. So, got up this morning, slept fairly decent, got up, went to the store, grabbed a couple things, literally, just a couple. Didn't even need a shopping cart. That's how expensive everything is. You don't even need a shopping cart anymore. Just a couple of hands to hold some bags. <laughs> so, got back home, got the big old breakfast made. Nothing new, just same old thing that I have pretty much every Saturday. So, had a pretty good week working out. Uh, God, I'll be honest, I don't even remember what all I did. I just know I had a pretty good week. Oh, my leg workout that I did Tuesday. Ooh, there's a screw on the road. Go through a tire. So, my leg workout I did Tuesday. I was feeling... I was feeling that in my hammies. All the way to yesterday, Friday. And I knew I would be. You put in a you put in a good leg workout, you're gonna feel it. Bad thing about working out legs. If I do squats or anything, I, I really don't feel it in my I really don't feel leg workouts in my quads. It's always my hammies and my gluteys. I haven't done them in a long time, but haven't done them in a long time, but I know leg extensions, uh, you feel things in your legs, uh, in your quads. When you do leg extensions, I haven't done them in many years because, well, I don't have a leg extension machine. I have practiced doing like quarter squats and half squats at one time. Because I heard that they kind of work the quads a little bit, but I don't know if they do or not. There's stuff all over the road. But I might try that again sometime and just experiment on my leg day and do some quarter squats or half squats or to be honest, that used to be my normal squat <laughs> before I learned how to do a, a squat to depth. So Whew. Monday. What did I do Monday? I know I did triceps and chest. Monday. Whew. Good grief, I gotta quit eating. Oh, let me touch on that because I think that's more important than my working out right now. So, this week I did more of a... Uh, 
clean diet, a clean eating, like I used to do before I started trying to gain weight and get stronger and lift heavier. And pretty much every single main meal that I had, other than breakfast of course, was chicken and rice and vegetables or ground turkey, rice and vegetables or fish like tilapia, rice and vegetables or cans of tuna, rice and vegetables. You get the idea. So pretty much every meal that I had like that, uh, I, I pretty much had every meal like that. What am I saying? <sighs> Trying to breathe. My biscuit and gravy is lodged somewhere in this area right here, right there. That's where my biscuit and gravy is. Phew. But anyway, of course I'd, I had my normal breakfast, bare minimum breakfast, two eggs, three pieces of turkey bacon. And I'm going to report this as intro testing. Interesting. That all week I never felt bloated. You've heard me say before, like I feel today even, right now, that I feel bloated all the time and constantly full. Well, eating what I ate this past week, plus smaller portions, helped in me not feeling that way. Now, I can't believe that I eat that big a portion normally. So, let me get my nose, sorry. <sighs> that gummit. So, but it must, it just must not take very much at all to get me technically full. You know, we're full long before we think we're full. And I know that. And that's why in the beginning, in 2021, I started losing weight because I started really portion controlling and eating super clean like I did this week. So I don't want to make my main meals, rice, some sort of nice lean, easy meat and vegetables. Ooh, that bird. Let him burn. Acting crazy. Big old birds. One's after him. That one there's after somebody. It looks like some kind of hawk, maybe, or something. I don't know. I just know what a chicken hawk is from uh, Looney Tunes. That's it. Well, Foghorn Leghorn. I know what that is. So. But anyway, trees, there it is. Oh, he's got something in his mouth. I'll feel like I'm on wild animal kingdom. Let's go into the forest guys and see what we're going to find. And I'm gonna try and look in the camera as best I can, but on this trail, You'll see, covered in leaves, plus they got them, plus they got sticks and big round acorn looking things. I don't know what all they are, but I know I don't want to step on something and slip and fall or twist a ankle. I don't want to twist an ankle. Ugh, I hate doing it. I can't see nothing. Man, I'm so scared. But anyway, I don't know. I'm talking about my diet. So, this past week, even though I got tired of some of the food, of course, you're going to get tired of that kind of food. But even though I got tired of that food, it felt so good to not feel bloated all the time and miserable. 
Now, I pride myself on being pretty honest with people. So let me be pre, uh, pretty honest right here. I think it was Thursday. Might have been Wednesday. I put my chicken in my skillet. Dumped a few little mixed vegetables on top of it. Added a little bit of water. Put the lid on it. Put it on super low. Super small burner. Super low. And that's what I do a lot of times. And then I do my workout. So, hour, hour and a half, whatever later that I finally get to my food. Uh, it's done. It's pretty much all done. Well, I kept going in there and just checking on it. And I thought, man, I really don't feel like eating chicken and rice and vegetables today. So, I added a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of chicken seasoning, poultry seasoning, whatever you call it, to go in there with a little water, a little more water. I added whatever these are. Those things are dangerous. So I added that and I added, and I was like, well, there's a, a pan of some green beans in the, some leftover green beans in the fridge. Let me, let me add some more green beans in here. So I added a couple of scoops of some green beans. Hmm, this looks interesting. This is looking good. <sighs> Mike, where's it going? Uh, well, my wife fried up a little pan of potatoes the night before or something like that for her and my grandkids. I thought, well, let me get a, let me get a little bit of those and put in here. Okay, well, potatoes and rice, they're both a starchy thing. So let me, let me, I'll use potatoes today. Okay. So I put some potatoes in the pan. And I was getting excited. And I added a little bit more, added some Mrs. Dash. Added a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Nothing crazy. Pinch of this, pinch of that. And I'm like, where am I going with this? I know where I'm going with this. I want some soup. <laughs> so, I made my soup in my pan. <laughs> in my iron skillet. Which, you can do. It's just not normally what I would normally do. But that's kind of where all this started. So, I just, I kept it going in there. So, I'm like, alright, let me add a little bit more of that chicken. Or poultry seasoning. A little bit more of that. A little pinch of this, a little pinch of that. Uh, man, I want some noodles in my soup. I want a little bit of noodles. So I had some little egg noodles in the cupboard. Went and got them. Put a little bit of egg noodles in there. Oh, yeah. All right, this is going to be good. Woo got my egg noodles in there, some potatoes, mixed vegetables, some extra green beans, a bunch of chicken. And all the while, I already made some rice for this dish. I already had it cooked up, ready to go. And uh, it was sitting in a container with a lid on it. <laughs> that rice ain't getting used on this day. Not on that day, it ain't. I'm making soup. And I don't want no rice in my soup. I'm not eating chicken and rice soup. We're going to eat some chicken vegetable noodley soup. So, eventually it all gets done. And I'm like, oh my God, I cooked chicken. I cooked, I opened up a bag of fresh frozen chickens, you know, chicken, big tenders and stuff that you can buy. Uh, and I've got two rotisserie chickens I bought like three days ago in the fridge. You gotta eat them things, they can't last forever. Son of a gun. Good news is, those chicken tenders didn't add enough chicken for me. I like a lot of chicken. So, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to eat, I'm going to get that one of those rotisseries out. I'm about to dig in it. So, open it up, peel off a big old bunch of rotisserie chicken meat. Mmm. Crumble it all up in there, peel it apart, and smoosh it all up in there. A bunch of it. <sighs> Guys, when it's all said and done, oh. 
Man, and I was like, man, this looks good. Hey, I wonder if I got any, any little chicken broth or chicken stock or anything like that. Bouillon. Do I have any of that? <sighs> Probably not. We don't usually keep that in the house too often. I'll be daggum if I didn't go over to the cabinet. We had a brand new little container of it. You know, a little, little box container with the little lid dump in there. I had some of that. Man. Oh, my skillets. My skillets. Popping. The aroma's popping. It's all good. Dumping in that chicken stock. Like this. Mm. Mixing it up with the spoon a little bit. Ah. It's one of them days, man. Cloudy, rainy, just kind of nasty. Like, oh man, this is gonna be so good. Let me tell you, I was okay with not eating chicken, rice, and some vegetables on that day. I enjoyed my soup. And I didn't overeat. I wasn't overly crazy stuffed. I tend to eat a lot of soup. I mean, I'll eat a gallon of soup. I got a big Tupperware bowl, a big ladle, and I will eat me some soup. <laughs> but I didn't eat too much. Tried to keep my portion down a little bit. And here's where I forgot again. I forgot something again. I like to be open and honest with you guys. That next morning I woke up for breakfast. <sighs> I don't want bacon and eggs today. I want soup. So I had me a, the rest of that amazing soup for my breakfast. And then for lunch, I had breakfast. <laughs> so that's that's the one time that I did stray. Uh, over the week uh, otherwise I did really well and uh, I could have ate something worse than the soup but it wasn't necessarily about eating healthy because I eat pretty decent all the time like I never go out and eat uh, fast food I haven't had fast food in years I don't even know anymore uh, if I go out and eat it's to go out and eat a steak and a potato and a salad stuff like that So, you know, I eat pretty good all the time. But, you know, it, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't staying on course exactly with what I wanted. But boy, it was good. It's so good. Long story, guys, but I think you can agree we all like some foods. And I love me some, love me a good soup. Especially a soup you just kind of randomly throw together. And a lot of times those are some of the best soups you'll have. Just out of nowhere. Just a quick random soup. Ow, I got something in my shoe. Ow. Son of a blooming onion. Oh, potato. Mashed potato. That's what my foot's going to be. Ow, I may have to get that out. Ow, ooh, ow, that's a rock. Dang rock came back and attacked me. Ow, ooh, ow. I don't want to stop. Somebody will call the cops. There's some random weird guy out there with a camera. And he's stopping on the road and he's taking his shoes off and probably... Oh my God, I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Ooh, ow. ow. Man, that's killing me. Anyway, guys. So, we're almost home. Next week, guys, I'm not exactly sure what my workout's gonna be. I'm considering doing something just totally different than just my standard everyday workouts with weights. I'm thinking of just doing something different for the week. That's needed. Sometimes it's just needed. But I have no idea exactly. You'll know about the same time that I do. So 
Guys, I hope you have a good day, good weekend. Hope you get a little bit of exercise for your mind, body, and soul. And uh, take care of yourself. And don't forget to have a good time and smile. Life is short. Have a good time. And uh, while you're at it, like, share, subscribe, comment. All that good stuff. To the body beat down, that's me, Michael. Your happy host on this beautiful day. And uh, don't forget. Get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. and We'll see you next time on the body beat down. Phew. I'm stuffed. Hey, Shadow. What's going on, Shadow? How you doing, Shadow? Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it!